right guys, it is early in the morning, it's about 5.30 and we're headed to Baja. I am so incredibly excited about this. Um, I am meeting up with good old Marco Overland X. I reached out to Marco maybe six weeks ago and said, man, we need to get another trip down to Baja on the books. Boom, here we are, we're on the way. Oddly enough, it is pouring rain right now in sunny Southern California. Um, I am meeting Marco somewhere on the eight here. Um, and it might start snowing. So go figure. That's all right. We're heading south of the border. I have got the Jeep all ready to go. Just picked up some gas, filled up the jerry cans, set up the cameras, got my route here. You know what? Usually it's hard to get up in the morning, let alone, you know, five in the morning. But when I'm headed down on a trip like this, whether it's with my family or with some of my buddies, I managed to get up really quick. So here we go. Off we are into the rain to Baja, baby. Let's do this. to see if we can find Marco. We're gonna meet up here and then we're gonna meet up with the rest of the uh, crew in uh, El Centro, Calexico, I think, or Calexico. They cross over at Mexicali. Man, if it was a little colder here, it'd be, uh, it'd be snowing. Actually, the forecast calls for snow this afternoon, which is kind of nuts. It's only 41 degrees right now. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up? What's Let's up, do man? this. This doesn't look like Baja, huh? Heck yeah, well, <laughs> all these trucks sure do. <laughs> I don't know about this snow in the forecast, but hey. Hey, I'm Scott. Scott, what's happening, man? Nice Yo, to meet you. Pleasure. I almost went by the store yesterday. Oh, I bummer. To kill, but he's, he's almost host. <laughs> host. Jose, um, Josue. Josue. Yeah. Yeah, soon. Yeah, we're going to stop at um, uh, the casino. Yeah, just I'll follow you guys. No worries. Well, I was wrong. I guess there is, but it is cold enough to snow. So good thing I brought my flip flops, stand up, snuggle gear, fishing gear, spear fishing. I didn't bring my sled. Marco, I'm blaming you on this, man. You can tell by all the white pearly sand. We've made it to Baja. This is hilarious. All the snow, it's super rad though. Amazing how much they've got up here. We're stopping up here. We're uh, at the uh, casino here off the eight, uh, not too far from say uh, Julian. It's the uh, it's good cheap gas. So we're gonna fuel, uh, fuel up the rigs. drive over some snow while I'm, at, while I'm at it. About 33 miles from Calexico. weather has cleared out. Uh, I think we've outrun the storm here. I'm excited because I think just like we have, Baja seen some, some rain in the last couple months. I was down in Baja in October with my wife and family. Uh, had an amazing time, but it was probably the greenest I've ever seen Baja. And it almost looked like quasi super bloom. And there were some hurricanes that came through um, in the weeks, months before that. It was insane. I mean, there were green pastures. So, excited to see what it'll look like. Um, right due kind of, I guess that would be almost southwest of me, mostly west, would be uh, the beginning of, uh, of Sea Cortez. And 
I mean, it's way out there, but uh, it is super nice and clear out here. So this is uh, starting to look a little bit more like the Baja weather that we, uh, we would come to expect. Hi guys, uh, this is the Yuha, the Yuha Desert. On the left, uh, way, way, way over there, there's a, there's a base uh, called Oyster Shell Mountain. And it's a desert full of uh, oyster shell mountains. Super deep. All right, this doesn't happen very often, but I'm sitting in line here waiting to cross the actual border into Mexico. I think it's Saturday morning. Uh, I got Chris in front of me. I think Marco, Natalie, I think everybody else is uh, up above. So we'll just uh, slowly make our way in here. All right, we made it through. Scott is packing up his stuff. They did quite a little search on his, uh, on his rig. All right, so he's uh, he's all set. The others are waiting for us. It's a little harder to go through with a larger crew, especially with all these rigs. Everybody wants to check everything out. Um, all good. Light, open everything up. Take off your sunglasses. Take off your hat. You know the deal. Hey, yo. Apparently, I did not get the pin. So if you want to lead out, I'll get in behind. Perfect. I'll go. All right, off we go. All right, we grabbed some change. Um, you know, most places, most gas stations will take credit card, US credit cards. It's amazing how much, uh, how many places nowadays take credit cards. Um, most places I found will also take US dollars, but it is always nice to have um, some Mexican pesos. So we went ahead and uh, Got some of that exchanged here. What do we do with these cards? Everybody is um, en route, and so uh, we're rolling. We going fishing? <laughs> Almost lost. <laughs> Almost. I, th I thought I saw one when I pulled over. That's why I flipped over. Yeah. I, I thought it was gone. I was like, oh crap. Uh, it's my wife. So, uh, I know it's only the beginning part, but as soon as you cross from Mexicali down, you get a sense immediately that you're in Baja. You've got the same kind of desert terrain, maybe that not too well as um, right now I am seeing some really awesome colors, the yellows, the greens, the different shades of browns, almost to a black on top of the ridge line. Um, that's all to the east of me right now. Um, and then on the on the west, you'll see this wide open desert flat. Um, this uh, must be from remnants from the Sierra Cortez. It's almost like a marsh, marshy lake bed, lake bottom um, terrain. But it's just really cool, really interesting to look at. Uh, soon, maybe in about 10, 20 minutes, we'll literally hit the top of the Sierra Cortez, um, which generally has a really incredibly blue tint to it. Um, so anyways, I, every time this never gets old for me, so super rad, uh, smooth sailing, incredible how different the weather is now uh, compared to this morning when it, it, it was 
just raining and snowing. Um, but anyways, this, uh, this drive is just beautiful. Alright, we are going to stop and grab a burrito. Not a burrito. Man, what am I talking about? Tacos. Here, we're in San Felipe. Never miss an opportunity for that. Alright, Marco, what are we eating? Tacos de Vidria. Where are we? San Felipe. Okay. Away from the snow. <laughs> First, an immediate stop other than gas is Taco Stone. No, so Marco has found this place talking to a gentleman that recognized his vehicle who happened to be the principal of the school across the street, right Marco? Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, yep. so he said, so he said this is the place to go. We found it. Not always open, Taco stands in general, this one's open. The deal with this place is that at noon they run out of food. So we were lucky. Just made it. My watch is out of battery, so I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> Either that or it knows we're in Bob. There's the rest of the crew. Love it. So good. And this does taste phenomenally. It's almost like a bowl of soup that you get. Plus meat the tacos. Soup. Meat soup. Right? Got some tortillas and adornos and everything else. So we had a little bit of meat here. Maybe one more scoop. Just look at that juice. Look at that juice <laughs> pouring off. Let's add some cilantro, some onion. You got a lot of patience. I've been waiting in my mouth already. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm doing this for the tube. <laughs> nice. Taco tube. There you go. Quick stop for gas. Awesome taco stand. I say taco stand, but it's not. Uh, we have Viria, and it was amazing. Um, man, that was good. Uh, everybody's topped off on fuel and off we go. I can see our destination somewhat uh, in our horizon okay. here. And uh, yeah, here we go. I love this part of the drive too. We kind of hug the coast for a while, go in and out of uh, the sand dunes. And um, yeah, it just starts to feel more and more like Baja, the Pina Colada truck. Pro tip, by the way, if you're ever airing up and you see the Pina Colada, Pina Colada truck, that's where you air up. Uh, you can get virgin ones too, so. But uh, anyways, we are off and, oh yeah, I put on my flip-flops, so. That is, so we passed San Felipe here and we're on our way down. This stretch of road is great. Um, Amount of different color blues I see in the ocean right now is staggering. But, um, a lot of that has to do with the time of the day, the sun, and then the different clouds that are in the air. But I mean, you see a turquoise, a dark blue, almost a grayish blue, a deep royal blue. I mean, there's so many blues out in the water. And then there's the sharp contrast of all this rocky terrain, um, which is incredible. There's a bunch of these little coves. I've actually camped in a few of these. Um, and they're somewhat protected from the wind. I've driven through this part of Baja a million times, uh, and it's often windy. <laughs> it's just kind of a normal thing uh, around here. Uh, but it also, I think, is what makes some of this whole scenery so dramatic, or at least feels so dramatic. So anyways, uh, we're about an hour away to our to our destination here it's kind of dead south from here when we're just on top of that hill we can see it um, roughly where it is uh, in the bay there but uh, yeah just super super rad
Surfboard just makes it. snow today. You didn't need the hair on your nose, did you, Mark? <laughs> About this type of salt. Similar <laughs> texture. Crunchy. Yeah. It cools down really quick. So it did cool down quickly. Like. So that's probably gonna heat up. There. Day one is over. Great day. Made it across the border. Down through San Felipe, Gonzaga Bay, Punta Final. Here we are. Um, it has been a windy night. Uh, I'm sitting inside the back of the gladiator here in our camping unit. Um, <laughs> it kind of feels like a boat. Whole, uh, whole truck's moving around, but um, I'm just in here taking it easy. We spent some time by the campfire, made some food, reading this book. Not that I know anything about fishing, but Baja Catch is a classic book um, that I borrowed from my homie Trevor. Um, why not? Anyways, I'm gonna finish up there, um, brush my teeth, go to bed, and get pumped for day two. All right, guys, good morning. Had a nice night last night, by nice, super windy. Felt like the, I was in a boat in here. The whole truck was moving all night long. Not to worry, just, uh, just another windy night in Baja. I am making myself some tea. I don't drink coffee, believe it or not. Uh, every now and then I do, but uh, everybody's kind of slowly getting up. Let me show you around. It's a beautiful morning. And excited for another day. Morning to you. Morning. Sleep all right? Yeah, not too bad. A little windy maybe? It, uh, the wind was banging. <laughs> yeah, the wind was definitely thrashing. Felt, felt like I was in a in a in a boat. <laughs> just moving around. Yeah, I think it's just these flaps that Yeah, I make a little noise. I mean it was pretty darn windy last night. Look at this setup. We got to do a little walk around on this on Chris's truck here later. It's beautiful. Marco, my friend. Good morning. Good morning. Woohoo! Buenos dias. Buenos dias, amigo. Sleep all right? All right. Good. It was awesome. It was windy last night. It was a little bit windy. Super windy, yeah. Yep. But that's all right. I know. I was just telling Chris. I felt like I was in a boat. It was just kind of like, wah, yeah. Wah, wah, yeah, I got wah. to one point that, yeah, it was really strong. But yeah. it's weird because uh, this place doesn't get windy until March, April. Yeah, I mean, it's just this winter storm. I mean, yeah. Look at our weather when we yeah. left. Like, that was crazy. At least we're not getting water. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, right. that'd be cool. <laughs> Oops. Good morning. Good morning. How did everybody sleep? 
Bay Good morning, yeah. sunshine. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. How was the Ritz Carlton in here? It was great. Good. <laughs> Lovely. You get your turn down service done? Yeah. Uh, did, did we? <laughs> did, you turned down for me. Oh, you put you yeah. put the tag on the door though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, not serve. Yeah, the trailer's rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. 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 Awesome. Thanks for not disturbing. Look at this. We will do a walk around at some yeah, point. We could do one at some point. Yeah, I want to. This I, is awesome. I got to visit this. There's only one distributor on the East Co uh, West Coast, and I got to visit him while I was in San Diego. Oh, cool. Uh, Pop Top oh, yeah. Adventure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Uh, Just had some fun on the beach. I had to take advantage of the fact that I was finally the guy not with the trailer. Get a couple donuts. I gotta get my fill for the day. Torque monster. Torque. Oh. Dude. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty rad. <laughs> yeah. It was so cool. I was like, I wasn't ready for it. Then I saw the rooster tail. <laughs> <laughs> a little diesel motor here to work. And we aired up. And we are heading back onto the highway. We are on our way down towards a spot at Bay of LA. Um, great destination. I been there a number of times um, most notably most memorably was with a bunch of friends and family um, actually in the summer it was incredibly hot but we got to swim with the whale sharks and that was an experience that none of us have forgotten especially my oldest daughter who went with us she was I don't know she was probably seven at the time um, amazing so I think we've got about a two and a half hour drive today to kind of where we're gonna drop back off, get some more gas, jump on the dirt, and um, Marco's got another phenomenal spot marked off over there. Um, one that I have not been to, so I'm excited to see that. Um, and um, yeah, so everybody uh, had a good night last night. It was windy, I think I mentioned that. That does happen a lot in Baja, uh, different times of year. It's a little unusual for this time of year. I think really it was just the storm that we had coming through Southern California. I'm stoked, as always, when I'm in Baja. So, off we go. I can't stop, stop. kind of situation in Baja where we've got a really wide load going down the highway. It's almost impossible to pass. This guy's gonna let us by, which is super nice. Which is gracias. Um, which opens up the road. We're back on highway one here. It's super narrow. Um, very little Fun shoulder. Fact about the speed it, ropes, the ones it, that look like they have these spirals up any. on them, um, every spiral needs to a life right here. So, uh, we got past these guys. It looks like there might be one more up here, um, and that'll get our flow going again. So we're 
back off of the Highway 1, cruising over to Bay of LA. The scenery on this road is fantastic as well. Uh, I'm seeing a good amount of kind of wildflowers, yellows, purples, etc. Uh, really high cacti. Uh, if you look carefully enough, you'll see a variety of different birds, ospreys, vultures. Uh, Right there, which is a super, uh, super fun to kind of see as we're driving along. Uh, 270 degrees of, yeah, classic Baja desert. As we approach uh, the water, we're probably about, let's see here, um, call it roughly 40 miles uh, from Bay of LA. So now we're heading, we'll call it southeast mostly, mostly east east southeast so um yeah we're making great time actually it's super rad. we just stopped after getting some lunch at the taco place here in bay of la great little stop i had seven tacos so i'm good to go um air down and we are just turning off to head to uh bahia animas and I think it's about 20 or so miles um, on the dirt. And so, yeah, it's, uh, the scenery is gonna be beautiful. A little bit of desert um, as we kind of roll around the bottom of Bay of LA, head south, and then I think we'll kind of cut northeast to get to the actual bay. So I think everybody's uh, pretty much done airing down. Everybody's uh, taking a few pictures and stuff because it's uh, it's pretty gorgeous. You can see the blue water behind me. That's uh, that's what I'm talking about. So off we go. Quick tire change and we're off. <laughs> Quick one. What, 15 minutes? Yeah, pit stop. Chris, tell me that's not the nicest place you've ever changed a tire. Yeah, no, exactly. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Change tire here all day. Yeah, I'll do it again. All right, tire changed. We are back in action. I will say, you know, a lot of these roads, a lot of these roads you can do in, in virtually, you know, any sort of crossover SUV. The tires are a huge piece of it. You get these jagged rocks that are on, you know, on the road. And if you're aired down a bit, um, you're gonna hit that. So, uh, I have, uh, I thought it was 
I thought it was uh, Scott when I when it was over the radio, but it, it wasn't. Um, the jail and the trailer are fine. So um, it was a little Jeep Compass, just with kind of more uh, all season tires. But no big deal, we got a spare, off we go. So, yeah. All right, everybody, we are real close to camp here at Bahia Animas. Um, and it is pretty rustic and raw and beautiful. Um, so we're just pulling up, we're kind of cruising along the bay here. Um, and I've never been here and it looks awesome. Um, if the wind dies down, maybe tomorrow morning, I can jump on and do a stand up and go check things out. Uh, the ride here has been really cool, kind of a single track desert road. Um, a little bit of sand here and there, but really kind of beautiful sight to see. So I think everybody's just really excited to get to camp here and uh, and see what, what we've got in store for us tonight. So, uh, yeah. All right, now that we're at camp, Chris, thanks for the soft shackle. Yes, sir. All hands on deck. Marco, that's perfect, man. Oh, I chased him too with your stuff. Here we are, beautiful. Camp for the night. Mr. Woods, what do you think? Should we go home? Well, I'll stay a few days at least. <laughs> I do like what Chris does. Perfect spot here. All right. This makes me so happy. That was a good day, guys. Long day on the trail, a little bit, a couple hours, a lot of scenery, epic beach spot. Night two, night two here is shaping up to be spectacular. <laughs> yeah, pizza. That's what the rumor has it. I drove all the way out here for that.
Pero, imagínate la conciencia. Y ya se dan cuenta de mí. There's a, in the back, there's a valve regulator. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> it's like a science project. <laughs> yeah. It's like a baby being born. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you start getting allergies, start feeding them table scraps. Oh, mijo. Then you end up with allergies. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Hey, Yos. Hey, Yos, you hungry can you, see, can you see me? Okay. So, so these gentlemen, these gentlemen walked out of the dunes right over here and brought us a cooler with spiny lobsters. I think we're buying some lobsters. <laughs> I, think, I think I know someone who might be able to do something with this. Yeah. Yeah, I know someone else who might be able to eat whatever that somebody does. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, night two. I am in the back of the Gladiator. What an awesome day we had today. Um, it's very scenic driving. Ended up at uh, just a really great spot here at the beach. Great campfire. Marco made incredible pizza. Everybody's having a great time. Play a little music. Enjoyed the stars. And... The wind completely died down. So we are all gonna have a real nice night tonight. Um, I'm not gonna lie, still plugged in the, uh, the heated blanket for today. Uh, I got the bedding in here and you can hear the ocean tonight. So, I am uh, ready for a good night's sleep. Off we go. Good morning. Here we are. Let's see what we've got to go on today.
There are one for stingrays in here. And that's coddled out. Just a lot of stingrays in here. No. Uh, a couple friendly seals. Um, nice out there. The beach across the way on the other side of this area. The beach over that way? Yeah. Um, it's got to be like two or three miles of just white sand. On the other side of that peninsula? Yeah, just on the other side of it. Why don't you cry You stand me. Help me. All right, folks, we are headed out of night two camp spot. We had a really great time last night. Marco cooked up some pizza. We hung around the fire till pretty late. The wind calmed down. The stars came out. The ocean, or the, or the Bay of LA here, um, was giving us great background ambiance noise. And it was just all around an awesome time. We are, we're pulling out of, out of camp here. We're gonna head straight south here and kind of cut the normal route you would take on a highway down on dirt roads here um, to kind of head towards San Ignacio, which is uh, between Guerrero Negro on the Pacific side and uh, Rosalia on the Steve Cortez side. So this should be a fun, fun route today. And uh, yeah, I'm just really pumped to be out here. The weather has really shaped up here today, this morning. It is 70 degrees. We've been wearing flip-flops, t-shirts. I was out on the stand-up this morning. Um, saw, saw a lot of stingrays, a um, couple seals, a couple other fish, um, a lot of birds. So really nice to kind of get out first thing in the morning. So off we go. The adventure continues. Yeah. Oh, 
for the kayaks. All right, tradition here in San Ignacio. Love this restaurant, random phone booth. Been here a few times. Sticker number one, that's Tom, that's Ernesto. That was when I was here last time with my family. We've got to replace this old one. I'm gonna add a Jeep one right here. So if you guys come down here, you gotta find the phone booth. I think Marco's got one here somewhere. I don't know. I don't see it. Unless it's under Optima. No. No. I don't know. We'll have to add one there. I want to replace the one from a couple of trips ago, the classic Rhino. It's like I'm a eight-year-old kid with stickers. <laughs> For whatever reason, I really like this. Here we go. Where should I go? Where should I go? I think the other side looked lonely. You have all the other sides. This side here? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is a lonely side. Cam, Optima Batteries, buddy. That's you. I'm gonna go right here. Brilliant. Now, that was a long day of driving. We need to eat. <laughs> We, are, we have already ordered a bottle of wine. Excellent. Let's do this. Oh, I, uh, I don't know. Do a little repair on the Jeep. Uh, check things out. And uh, maybe get a haircut in the morning. Brush my teeth. I've been waking up with really bad bed hair. And I'm not sure why that keeps happening. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, it's been a pretty ordinary day around here. So what are you going to name your new dog? Uh, sombrero. Sombrero. Yeah. It's the three-legged dog that's yeah, blind? Yeah, as long as he has a prosthetic leg and, a, and he's blind, then uh, he's welcome at our house. Well, here you go. Hello. Leo. 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 No, no, no. All right, so we are here at an incredible campground really amazing to go from beach spots desert spots to all of a sudden you're at a true oasis here plenty of palm trees water and it has been awesome Woo! Breakfast time. Breakfast for the doggy. Uh, no, no, for the adulty. Oh, for the adults. The adults. <laughs> Happening. Some chaca burritos. <laughs> nice. Eggs. Do you want some? Uh, sure. You don't ask your team. Yeah, I yeah, mean, you true. guys, you guys you should know by now. Okay. I'm always in for food. You will have burritos. There, there you go. <laughs> okay. uh, Puppies and food, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get so tired. <laughs> Why don't you work on this Jeep, man? Don't worry about my puppy, huh? Where's <laughs> cylinder four? Where are we? Where cylinder gonna... four. Cylinder four. Cylinder let's, four is right here right somewhere. Right there in the middle somewhere? Yeah, somewhere right here let's in the middle. Let's figure that out. <laughs> That'll make it. It's four and a half, four and a half here. And five and a quarter on the opposite. Split the difference. Three quarters. Yep. Actually, dude, yeah. we can winch it from here. I mean, yeah, we can move it. Let's loosen it up and see what it.
I don't think they're going to be. If you wash it, bacteria goes in. Yeah, it has to go in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's already cold. It's all right. Yeah. Nice is with a ratchet. You know what I mean? That pressure. <laughs> That's the crew from last night. guys we had a great night in San Ignacio uh, beautiful camp spot near the oasis and um, had a brilliant dinner down at the main square by the mission uh, lovely evening it was a little chilly at night I think it dropped down to in the low 40s high 30s is what my red arc said inside the truck um, all good though woke up this morning and we all Natalie made an amazing breakfast uh, breakfast burritos and we did a couple just kind of minor repairs tweaks on some of the trucks um, you know doing 100 miles through Baja it does take its toll um, I have this conversation a lot with the folks in the shop you know just that the cadence of the vibration as you're as you're driving for eight nine hours straight just do 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 things rattle loose um, Loctite, blue Loctite, if needed, red Loctite is your friend when you're doing your rack installs, bolting on accessories, things like that. Um, taking the time to have just a bolt check, you know, common sense. Go around, whether you tap it, feel it, push up on things. If you hear a noise, that's, you know, that's an indication of something might be loose. If you've got a nice campground at night, uh, especially that's flat, um, we were lucky we had some grass and some room it's just a great idea to kind of roll around the truck and make sure everything is still kind of nice and tight so we all found a couple of things that needed some adjustments so we took care of that um we ran back into town just to check out the mission in the in the daylight which is, is beautiful we grabbed some ice cream and uh, we fired up the trucks and now we are headed basically due south uh south East towards uh, I think it's Santa Rosilia, um, where we'll probably pick up some fresh water. That's actually a really cool town as well. It's got some French history to it. Um, there, it was a uh, copper mining town um, owned uh, by the French. So there's, 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 I believe the train station 
there was designed by the same by by Mr. Eiffel who designed the Eiffel Tower. So, anyways, uh, and there's a there's a brilliant bread shop in there. I'm not sure if we're gonna go into town, but I think we're gonna get some fresh water there. Um, and once we pass that, I think that stretch of road is probably one of my favorites uh, in Baja. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I probably say that on every stretch of the road here in Baja, but that truly is um, brilliant views. You get to hug the, the coastline and the, the magic of the Sea Cortez really comes alive. So uh, everybody's in good spirits. I'm, I'm feeling great. Weather's nice. I got my board shirts back on, t-shirt, flip-flops, and um, we're, uh, we're thrilled for another awesome day. So off we go. So I am walking through part of downtown Santa Rosilia. Um, and I had mentioned the train station was designed by Eiffel. I was wrong. It is the church here uh, that is designed by Eiffel, which we passed already. But this is a really kind of cute little town. I think Marco and the others have driven up to get um, some purified water. Uh, and I'm just taking the opportunity to uh, cruise around. Quick. So the trailer folks are refilling their water bottles here, uh, or water tanks rather, with the purified water place. Here we are, getting the beast loaded up. These guys getting their water, lifesaver water bottles, purified upon purified. This is officially purchased from that's right oh, oh. awesome i can't say the same thing sorry <laughs> oh good the, <laughs> max the, tracks though the lifesavers are awesome i carry one in all our setups margo's picked up a that is a 10 gallon 10 gallon jug yeah virulent yeah. yep um should fill up my tank we'll put it on the tank and here are the other rigs. Here is, so again, the history of Santa Rosilia is the French mined copper here. So in and around this city, you'll find old copper mining equipment. This looks like there's some sort of a crane on a, uh, on a, on a train track. Okay. Really kind of cool. Find me a dog yet? We had some prospects over here. But this is my best friend right now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How are we doing? We're doing good. Good. So, uh, on this trip, we've been battling a uh, some burning coolant. Uh, I'm going through almost a gallon of coolant a day. We don't have any leakage. We do. Uh, we're diagnosing it as a uh, head gasket. Um, no coolant in the oil, so we're good to go. Temperatures are remaining the same. Clearing codes with our Ovana, uh, what do we got? It's the 5310. Uh, if you don't have something like this, it doesn't have to be this brand, get something. So these guys are being troopers, committed to the trip. Um, the trail has been working real hard pulling the trailer. But uh, here we are. Not let us down, fingers crossed. So. Chris is telling me the JK is tracking much better. We did some adjustment this morning in San Ignacio on that rear track bar. Um, unfortunately, stuffed up this beautiful paint back here. But the rear tire, the rear axle was just not aligned to the vehicle. So we measured the outside tread, or the inside tread, to the chassis on both sides. And it was three quarters of an inch to the... passenger side we did get that adjusted and Chris are we driving better 
So before, I was like Popeye, forearms, just death grip. Fingers are falling asleep, and now I can I can relax. So I can see it. I'm super, I've been super driving, excited. I've been driving behind Chris most of this trip, and that last stretch of road is way better. Natalie's JL is cruising, just rocking and rolling, right, Natalie? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's rocking the go fast on a Rhino Rack platform and a Iron Man 4x4 awning. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is a mean little green Jeep. I love it. All right, I've got to walk back to my car. Yep. Usually when Marco tells us to go, he just fires up the motor. Andale, amigos. I'm going to walk back over. I'll wait for you guys to pass. All right, so we are headed down. We just got uh, some some quick supplies at uh, Santa Rosilia. Um, took a look at that town, the little town. It's pretty cute. Um, some uh, some water, uh, a couple of beverages, and we've got maybe about an hour or so, not too far, uh, heading south to our next stop, about 65 miles. Um, this part of the drive is great. We start to kind of track along, heading south to the left of us, to the east of us. We'll see a lot of the uh, of the bay, uh, which is uh, yeah, Concepcion, um, which is awesome. So this part of the drive is is uh, is great. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, jumping in the water this afternoon. Uh, get wet and kind of. Uh, so we're driving through Mulahe. I don't know if you'll be able to see this out the window here, but on the left there is a Russian yacht, mega yacht. It's got a helicopter. It's got the back flipped up. It's got all sorts of things going on. Um, jet skis, water toys, movie screens. My God, that is that's a mega yacht. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Make this work. Oh yeah. oh yeah, baby. Yeah, let's let's park, let's figure out, but this is definitely gonna work. Marco, what is this system you got here? Okay, we stopped in Santa Rosalia and I got 10 gallons of uh, purified water, but now I'm filtering and pumping it into the Patriots uh, tank, water tank. 
So I'm going to have a full tank in 10 minutes. I don't think I went more than, I wasted more than 10, 10 gallons. So. Excellent. So the wife can take a hot shower tonight. All right. the dual tembo <laughs> not one but two you also gonna try and get some of this um, sausage before it goes away when my grandkids have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like magic. Fire magic. dinner Marco fish tacos fish tacos where'd the fish come from this is fresh we got it here in Baja Sur uh, on our last uh, camp spot on the beach we got this uh, fisherman local fisherman who came by and uh, sold us some fish super fresh sweet I think what's really cool though is where that 
where he's talking about, we were literally in the middle of no place, two and a half hours off any paved road. About 8.30 at night, these two guys come walking out of the sand dunes carrying a cooler with fresh fish in it that they had just speared out in the Sea of Cortez. And it's our dinner tonight. Super cool. We're connecting. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take advantage of your clip. Heck yeah. Oh, it's not the dark. I forgot about that. <laughs> Mexico. But she lived in El Salvador for about 10 years. Oh, okay. Since she was younger. Oh. Parents, uh, mother from New Mexico, father from El Salvador. Good. Good. See? Amazing. From one to ten. Um, Eleven. Exactly. God, that's so funny. It's so similar. All right, Chris, what are we having for breakfast here, buddy? You are on the disco, the I Camper Disco. Pancakes. What, what, hot dog. Are, hot dog. Some pepperoni. Heck yeah. Have some sausage. Nice. So what you are? You're cooking them in the pots and pans. Well, just cooking a little multiple, bit of both because we got a lot of people. Nice. Plus, want to make sure we crank it out so we can eat and go. <clears throat> Chris is making sure we hit the road today, nice and fed. Not a bad place to uh, to uh, make breakfast. I appreciate it, man. Oh, absolutely. Scott's getting the kayak all folded down. Dude, inflatable kayaks—they're the best. <laughs> you did you did get that thing inflated really quick yesterday. Uh, you were out in the water in no time. I would say less than 10 minutes right? we're from bag to water, less than 10 Ooh. minutes. That and a half a bottle of wine, that'll do the trick. Half a bottle of wine? What are you talking about? There's no <laughs> I don't even know what here. today is. What day? We are uh, mobilizing now, just getting out of camp, caught up early, did a good stand up, we made some coffee, tea. I think some folks are setting up a uh, drone for a drone shot out of here, but. Um, I'm real fired up for today. We had we pushed south uh, into an area that I think is going to be quite amazing. <laughs> so we uh, we're just over here talking to Nore. He came up from Costa Rica in this incredible defender build out i'm gonna walk over there he's told me uh we should swim i'm gonna so. i'm gonna walk over with you i want to see that car Vamos. wow 
Wow. So what year is this? It's uh, 2000, two, sorry, 2012, uh, Defender 130, and a self-made uh, camper, pop-up camper. So you made the pop-up? Yeah, we made it in, with a electrical system to make Raise it lift. Raise the top, yep. Yeah, so my setup is ready in 55 seconds. And that's what we wanted because uh, we have a rooftop tent before and it was sweet for the weekend or a week or two, but not for us not to leave no. uh, months. Not so, for eight months. Absolutely not. Yeah. So this is how we escape from the elements whenever we want. And if, we, if it is nice like today, we hang outside. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a couple panels at the top, lithium batteries, yep. and, uh, the Red Arc system. Yeah, what are you running, a Manager 30? Yeah, the Manager 30, 30 yep. and 400 amp, hour, amp hours. Lithium batteries. Yeah. Yep, and how many watts of solar up there? 400. 400, watts. yep. Yeah. Yep. And 100 liters of, liters of uh, water. water. And this is diesel, yeah? Yeah, this is a this is a, a small engine, four cylinders, 2.2. Yep. Uh, turbo, turbo diesel. Turbo diesel, yep. TDI. Yep. How many miles are on it? Kilometers? It's close to 200,000, is it like that? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did I say it okay? Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, 100 and, I don't know, 120,000. All right, yeah. That, yeah. Something like that. That's awesome. And then this is your... Yeah, we made a couple boxes of storage. Yeah, here. down here. Just yeah, keep we'll your keep stuff. Keep the chairs there. Yep. Simple. Super simple. And this is my wife. Hi. Hola. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Fine, you? Is it okay I film? Yeah, yeah it's okay. Okay, thank you. It's a beautiful truck. <laughs> Amazing. So you got the whoop, the 180 that comes out, right? The awning? Yeah, this is the rear 180, so yeah. it's, it's kind of a small. Yeah. But we use it mainly for the dogs. Yep. Because they sleep outside when the weather is not so bad. Yeah. And if we need two, we take them inside, but yeah, it's three not. dogs and the inside is really small. Yeah. So this, I mean, the, the, the Fender 130, this is all stock bed right yeah and then you built this into it yeah yeah and i attached to the chassis to the chassis straight down oh i see okay yeah mm -hmm. bolted down and so you have some storage underneath i see yeah we yep. based on the four-wheel camper yep but uh -huh. this is smaller because the, the four-wheel camper ends. is longer yeah yeah six foot and uh, i i'm right down running big tires yeah kind of big tires so i didn't have space to store it yeah so we ended up thinking that doing a small camper was okay and maybe lighter yeah so it's working yeah <laughs> you're here <laughs> yeah. i mean it's working for sure absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely we didn't have the money to buy a a brand new camper or yeah. even a an used camper because we live far from the states yeah which is the home for campers yeah uh, so we have two options or three options build it buy it second hand or new one but if we buy it we have to ship travel it. to the states or ship it to the states and that was expensive um, so we said all right let's do it yeah that's <laughs> amazing and so how long did it take you to make it about a year about a year i, I took it slowly because i was working saving and yeah. working on the yeah the build so that's why it took so long but maybe if you have the money and everything maybe four months is enough yeah. that's so cool and what gave you i mean what what inspired you to to build a truck and go eight months what why why eight months well i started with just thinking with my previous setup, which was a rooftop tent, 
how long can I travel with this? So I took a trip to Panama, which is my um, next country. Yep, neighbor. I, I don't feel like to travel in your country is overland. For me, that is just truck camper or car camping. So I decided to go to Panama. Okay, it's really close to us, to us anyway. And 15 was 15 days was the limit for us. Like we were comfortable with that, but no more. So we made it a check. That was our limit. Now we want to travel more, but not this way. So we ended up thinking in the camper and what I told you about the money and everything. So that was the inspiration. We did like the that travel, but we need more facilities like to. You needed in, longer, in, extended travel to, time to yeah. really go very far. Being able to take a proper shower. Right. We just, for example, I'm gonna take this off. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pop it because it the uh, pump is on. It's yep. gonna throw water. Good. But I just hooked the uh, yeah this here. Yep. And I hang this. Oh, there you go. There. Oh yeah. That's so a good we, shower. We take a, a, a good yeah. shower. Yeah. Yep. And then you've got your privacy curtain there. Yeah. I mean, all those little things. It, even it's, it's, it, it makes, makes the it difference. it makes it doable right i mean yeah. you're right no, i mean can, doing it for a week or two weeks is is one thing doing it for eight months is... we can plug it in the other one and we pick cereal water yeah if we have a river or a you so know water inlet. that is kind of clean but you don't know if it is possible so you uh, don't take your the water that you know that is good right 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 so we can mix that and it's sufficient. This is to fill up our 100 liter tanks. Yeah. Um, this is not working because we thought this was going to be the great water. <laughs> yeah. And um, with such a small camper, it is not where you want it, it's where it can be. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have another hose to to uh, take outside the great water. Yeah, okay, to dump it, yep. And of the car, well, yeah, as I said, a 130 with rear and front locker. Very cool. 35s. 35s, yep. Um, yeah, the inside is very simple. Of course, it's dirty, and we have three dogs, remember. Um, but yeah. And um, the dogs are back Oh, yeah, here. I took out the, the, rear seats. the rear seats to make more space for them. And it's a six speed? Sorry. I'm gonna take this off. Can you film again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do that again. So the dogs are back here. You took out the rear seats. Classic. Yeah. So we made Land a, a, a big interior. bed. Yep. Big bed for them, and under that we have a storage. All right, more storage. And is it a six-speed? Yeah, it is. Six-speed manual, six manual speed. transmission. That is awesome. Using some front runner racks. Yeah. Boxes. Simple box. Yeah. The antenna. Yeah. We have it like this, just not to be yeah. so tall. Yep. Yep. Uh, two inch lift. Front bumper. Lights. A or B bumper. Factory five winch. Diff cover. Diff skid. Warren winch. How big is a winch? Yeah. Uh, Twelve thousand. Yep. Yeah, it's. I think it's enough for the the weight of the vehicle and the camper. A uh, smaller one, I think it won't work as uh, synthetic ropes decrease their amount of strength over the time you use it. Yeah. So you have to be conscious about that. Yeah. And yeah, that is it. That's incredible. <laughs> This is amazing. Home built, inspired by the need and the want to travel further. Yeah, and of course, inspired by other travelers. Of course, uh, it, of course. But the fact that you decided yeah, we, to to make we, it <laughs> is really, I mean, that is that's that's. What awesome. we thought is, uh, well, we don't have enough money to to do it as we dream it, but we want to do it and we don't know if we are going to get old enough alive. Um, so it's right now, if you if you set up a date 
try to um, make it happen. So that's what we thought. Uh, let's Amazing. do it in uh, three years, saving and working, and we made it. Then it doesn't matter. If I mean, it's this one is year, two this years, is this is this this is living. Yeah. I mean, this is this is living. That's incredible. I I know. There's got to be so many people who think about it, which is amazing, but you've actually executed and you're doing it. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's I had to, uh, three years not buying clothes, eating cheap in restaurants or not eating at all in restaurants, uh, saving, saving, saving and putting all my efforts in and savings here. But here we are. We made yeah. it. <laughs> Congratulations, man. That's amazing. Thank you. Chris, what do we got going on here, man? This this is looking insane. Oh, hey, we're gonna have some shrimp tonight. It's gonna be awesome. I hope you enjoy it. But we have six pounds of shrimp. We have some parsley, honey, pepper, olive oil, salt, lemon, garlic, a little uh, margarita for taste. But yeah, we're gonna have a. We're gonna, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm excited. This, this looks awesome. <laughs> You've been talking about it for a couple days now. <laughs> And I think I think that today is the day for it. We just yeah. we just got here. Marco's rolling out on the kayaks. Uh, some of the others are taking a walk around. And uh, I looked over and saw six pounds of shrimp. This is gonna be awesome. Wanna, you're gonna be the first one to try it. I would love to be the first one to try it. Plantain. And it got a lot better <laughs> with these. And then and with La Lechera. La Lechera. This is pretty heavenly. Chris. Chris, eat it before I do. Oh, you. Uh, I'm, Thank I'm, you. I had my share. You've had enough. You have not had enough. You have not had enough. Okay. You have okay. not. Okay. Show us how it's done. Like that. Like that. No, I don't think that's enough. More leche. No, exactly. What I like to do is I like to look at it and appreciate it and imagine the goodness that's about to come. Oh my gosh. Simply amazing. In, a, in one word. Yes, please. That's two words. <laughs> it made in America. <laughs> give a special thanks to Marco and his wife for hosting us on this trip what what an awesome trip I mean obviously we went to some amazing locations here in Baja but also just the hospitality uh, that Marco his family and honestly his friends too I didn't know everybody on the trip before we started uh, and you can tell the character of someone by you know who he makes friends with and and uh, Marco really um, showed that on this trip with the uh, the people that we uh, we embarked this adventure on. So, Marco, thank you so much, man. It means a lot. You've been a huge supporter of Rhino Adventure Gear, and um, I just value your friendship. And this is awesome, man. Um, so, thank you.
We've been uh, cruising now for a bit. We are, we have left Aba Verde and we're heading north. Um, real nice day today. My God, there is not a cloud in the sky. And the wind has died down. The temperature has, uh, has uh, risen a bit. It's, it's about 70, 75 degrees. And we're just having a real nice kind of cruise back up the coast here. Uh, probably stop for lunch. I know Marco has uh, brisket in the oven as we're driving here. Hilarious. Um, and even a few burritos, I think, in the oven for lunch or something like that. So it never <laughs> ceases to amaze me. Um, so, yeah, we are uh, making our way back up. Probably around, probably stop uh, around Guerrero Negro. So, he healthy drive today. Um, but uh, excited for uh, for another day here. Yeah, about uh, I don't know, a little over six hours. Uh, Called me about 300 miles. So everybody's doing well. All the trucks are healthy, uh, well rested, well fed in Baja. Really can't ask for more. So. Scott's Jeep. It's been having a little bit of trouble. Now we uh, just won't start. Um, we looked at all the things that we could think of, but um, unfortunately it's still not going here. So we called in a local auto electrician to see if he can help. He's reading codes right now. Good luck. Hey. We'll see you over there. Hopefully. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hold on. Are you? Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. Are, nope. are you on the emergency brake? No. I'm in, I should be in neutral. Now? No. Push me. Hold on. Yeah. No. Okay. Hey, Chris, Chris, no, no, no. Four high. That's low. That that should be it right there, right? Yeah, I mean, but why is it not there? Okay. There. Look, hey, Chris, watch out there. Watch that, Marco's that tow rope. Is That's <laughs> Those are the ones that go flying. Watch out. All right. Adios. <laughs> Wait a second. This looks like Lefty just left behind a uh, pro trailer. I'll take this one home. I guess so. The Mercado? <laughs> All right. My little hope in the. Don't worry. Your home's coming with us. <laughs> Thank you. Go on trailer. All right, so we're pulling up to this uh, shop where we're gonna leave um, leave the Jeep and just meet the others here. Hey, mañana, pues en la mañana, a empezar a quitar el múltiple para revisar bujías y a lo que salga ahí adentro, vamos a ver qué le hacemos. Okay. Big muscles in his car, I saw. Que tiene muchos huevos tu carro, dice. Ah, que sí. 6,000 pounds. Que sí, que engranaje traes. No, es original, es original. Stock. 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 
<laughs> no, he's vehicle stock. Oh, your vehicle stock. No, no regearing there. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 All right, awesome. So trucks in. Yeah. Whenever you're in Guerrero Negro. You're in Guerrero Negro. These are your guys. Things go south and not like south of the border south. Yeah. Okay, yeah. With us as well. In his D130 custom built uh, camper topper that we, uh, we did an interview on a couple days ago in uh, Arco Verde. He's joined us. Adventure continues. So we've woken up here in a pretty unique spot here in Guerrero Negro. It was not the spot that we planned to go to last night. Um, with Scott's car troubles, we um, kind of ditched our original plans to see some sand. But we found this spot that apparently got hit by the hurricane uh, last year. I um, believe there was a little restaurant. No, some other structures here but we were literally on this tiny little island in the bay of Gonzaga we've got the sand dunes all around us we're kind of in this little fishing I don't know if you want to call it a village but a fishing area and we've set up here for the night and we're just getting up and everybody's grabbing their coffee done this I've been to Baja a bazillion times and as soon as Nat was like do you want to go check out some whales I jumped off the back of the tailgate of the Jeep and immediately grabbed my stuff so we are super excited it is a beautiful morning the rest of the crew is chilling at camp all right so we've made it out to where you get on the boats for the whale watching tour really cool drive over you pass a desalination plant um, that uh, is apparently 51% owned by the Mexican government and a 49% owned by Japanese companies and they produce an insane amount of salt um, I mean trucks by trucks that load barges upon barges and those get shipped out the scenery out here is incredibly beautiful. You have white dunes everywhere, crystal clear water, and our current camp spot, believe it or not, is straight on an island due north of where we are. And so the rest of the crew is out there hanging out. Oh, in fact, I think I see them. I don't know if we can see that, but there they are. So we made the whole loop around and 
are getting ready to get on this boat. This is going to be awesome. Chances of me losing my hat, very strong. Whales. Wow. Right below us. Look, 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 right here, right here, right here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here so we have fresh scallop ceviche the scallop have been, the scallops have been out of the water maybe 30 minutes looks like we are eating good tonight oh my lord Heck yeah yum and remember it's because my cheap broke down <laughs> happy but not happy Broken, but not broke. That's my motto today. No, broke, but not broken. Just lemonade. Just lemonade. I've been saying that all day. I'm making 
lemonade out of lemon. Now guys, what do you think? We are we're gonna eat good tonight. I'm obviously wearing the right outfit for this there meal, so I think I get to eat first. <laughs> yeah. Yost just wanted to look sexy, so he dressed in his black tie. When I was out there, out there snorkeling with the guy, um, the second scallop he pulled out of the water, he breaks it open, cleans it, and hands it to me. He goes, eat. And I, I, mm. Honestly, the best scallops you ever had. Mm. And, <laughs> and, mm. these, are, these, are, these, are, these are raw, by the way. They're not cooked. I'm gonna try one of these. Okay. So Yost, you put your black tie on. I put my best, this is my best. This is, this is my Friday night best here. I heard there was an incredible feast, so I got changed. I got use changed. one of those when I eat the barbecue ribs. Yeah, I hate these <laughs> when I'm in Baja eating scallops when Jeeps break down. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah, what I do. So, so I'm like, here we go. Them. That's really fresh. Do you even, does it even taste like seafood? No, it doesn't. It's just a hunk of, oh, a hunk of goodness. That's crazy. That's I don't crazy. think I've ever had any of that fresh. Well, I mean, was there 20, 30 minutes ago? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, no, that's... absolutely insane. Baenas. <laughs> you know what's a ba the baena from Pacifico, no? Yeah, that's what I was talking about on the boat. The big, big beers, that's the only baenas I've ever seen. All right, we're here back at Built Rots. These folks have fixed Scott's Jeep. We just uh, took the Gladiator over and we are gonna take a look. Hola. 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 Buen dia. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Yeah. You're I'm real, dude. Por, por qué, por qué la and look at this. Look at this one. Incredible. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling satisfied. I had a Snickers bar. <laughs> one, one heck of a way to have a Snickers bar. Oh my gosh. We have a motor that's working. I hear no ticks. Okay. So the water is because of the sear. Okay. Okay, so you keep it two days running like that and okay. then flush everything out and then start. Okay. Okay. Este es el sellador. Acá está en inglés, acá está en español y dice que. Dice, una, una, dejarlo una hora en relating, en marcha mínima, mm -hmm. o conduzca el vehículo durante dos días. Ok. You drive the vehicle for two hours. Ok. So the sealer will do his job. Ok. And then after that, just flush everything out and clean it. And... Ok, so drive it back to the States, yeah, I guess. No, no, okay. no hay ningún problema, eh. Yo, yo lo he traído en mis carros personales, así con el... Y de hecho ni se lo he tirado nada, y lo he traído meses, así con el... Just the water. Then just, just mm -hmm. go normal. Have Jerry take. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Super stoked. Yeah. 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 Super Super stoked. So, Nestor here works some incredible magic. Uh, in less than in less than 12 hours, he broke my motor down, took the, uh, took the heads off, discovered that there was water in two of the cylinders, pulled those, made sure all the cylinders were operational, was able to hand crank the motor with no issues. Uh, once he flushed all of that out, he pulled the oil pan and pulled the oil pan and uh, noticed that there were no metal shavings. Uh, gave us a call, put everything back together, gave us a call uh, that things were ready and running and we're ready to go. So, if you guys are ever in this part of Baja and have a mechanical, this is the guy, no doubt. All right, we got 
uh, Scott's Jeep ready. It's a kind of a different color. Dude, right hand drive. Right hand drive car. No transmission, no motor. Super lightweight. Yep. Um, I think definitely a good candidate for a rooftop tent. Absolutely. I'm All thinking right. about cutting out the floorboard and going full Flintstone on it. <laughs> I think it's but just, already there. But just, no, there, no, there is a, but just. <laughs> oh, you're right. Right hand drive, Aussie style. Dude. Right. Dude. We will see. We're ready, ready to here. roll. San Diego, man. man. All right, Scott. Adios. Adios. Hola. Bye. Bye. Thank you. What is that we see? Jeep is moving, dude. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> is it alive? It's alive. <laughs> All right, so last day, we've got a hard push out to Guerrero Negro. Unfortunately, Scott's car got 90% of the way fixed. Incredible that the mechanic actually got that running. I, to be totally frank, was skeptical. As we took it out for test drive, unfortunately, the water pump uh, started leaking. It, it, it was on its last leg to begin with, and um, there is no water pump in town for a couple days. So I believe Scott's going to actually stay behind with, uh, with the car. Parts probably come Monday, Tuesday, hopefully drive back Wednesday. I'm going to tow his trailer back and Beth is going to hitch a ride um, with Natalie. Um, we kind of talked about a bunch of different options, but that seems to be the most practical, practical given everybody's personal situations, time frames, logistics, etc. So super unfortunate um, that we couldn't get it totally going, but we we're pretty darn close. Um, <clears throat> we did score an extra day in Guerrero Negro uh, and I managed to get out out on the boats for the whale watching and what an, what an insane experience. I don't think I've ever spent that much time with in nature with wildlife with that much interaction. Um, it was incredible. So um, while it was a bummer that Scott's car had some issues. Well, cool, but I'm gonna do it again just in case. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, we made lemonade out of lemons, so to speak. So um, they had a great day here in, at the at the the camp spot, uh, snorkeling, fishing. We had scallops, we had ceviche, we had oysters. Pretty rad, unique spot. One of those spots you definitely gotta see the forest through the trees. But once you once once you see that, it's just it's amazing. Um, so we had great hospitality here by the local fishermen, and yeah, so we're on our way out. Um, I'm excited to get home. I'm also excited that we just had another amazing adventure here at Baja. So special thanks again to Marco, uh, Yossi for hosting us and taking us. Um, great group of folks on this trip. And uh, yeah, I guess Baja's always an adventure. No matter what, every time I've been, it's an adventure. Um, that's why you build adventure uh, rigs. So, off we go. Yeah.